So we're going to deal with some uh, exponential growth here. And first one, we want to find the doubling time for a quantity that triples every five years. I'm going to show you a, a neat way to set up the equation for this. So we know that exponential functions have the form y equals a b to the t. Now what we want is we want to set up a model for something that triples every five years. So y equals a, now we want it to triple, and if all I do is raise it to the t, that's going to triple every year. But I want it to triple every five years, so what I do is I just divide my t by five, because what that does is every time t is a multiple of five, I multiply it by another three. And I've already got my model. I want to know when the initial amount is going to double, so if I use a as my initial amount, I want to know when it's going to be 2a, because that's double a. So, dividing a out on both sides, I now have the equation I want to solve. So, coming up here, we have 2 equals 3 to the t over 5, which we'll solve using logs. Um, so, let's take the log of both sides, or you could rewrite it using logs, that'd be fine as well. The exponent comes out front, and I have log of 2 equals t over 5 log of 3. So I'll divide both sides by log 3. And I have log of 2 over log of 3 equals t over 5. To multiply both sides by 5, and I've solved exactly for t. Now let's go ahead and see what that comes out to be. And so putting in my calculator, I have 5 log of 2 divided by log of 3. And I get roughly about 3.15 years, or to two, one decimal, 3.2 years. In the next problem, we want the annual decay rate for a quantity that has a half-life of 23 years. So now we're just, we have decay instead of growth. The model is going to be set up very similarly. I'm going to have y, my initial. Now it's half-life, so what happens with half-life is it's getting cut in half every 23 years. So I raise it to the t over 23. Now the, what I'm being asked here is a little bit different. I want the annual decay rate. What percent is it decaying by each year? So what I need is the base of my exponential function. And you got to be a little careful here. One half is not the base. It's not decaying by 50% every year. So the base is what's being raised to the, the t power. So the base is 1 half to the 1 23rd. Okay? Now, just like a growth rate, it's always your growth factor minus 1. A decay rate is always your decay factor minus 1. This is our decay factor. All right? So we have to take this, then subtract 1 and turn it into a percent. So we're going to take 1 half to the 1 23rd. We're going to subtract 1 to account for the decay and multiply by 100% to turn it, the minus 1 turns it, is what turns it into a rate. So let's see how this will look. So we have 1 half raised to, and then this is important, the 1 divided by 23 needs to go in parentheses. We're going to subtract off the 1, and then multiply by 100%. Now it's negative because it's decay. So negative 2.968, or if we round that up to the nearest whole number, negative 3, or its decay rate is 3%. So the negative just indicates the decay.